All right, boys, Karens are out of control and they're even invading the youth. We've had Karens destroy targets, you know, be weird in dental offices. And now we have a Karen who was caught on Father's Day going down to the local dock with a posse of boys and uh, harassing people with their kids and just having fun and fishing, mind their own business. People got fishing licenses, you know, they're just doing their thing, enjoying the night, just out on the dock, minding their business. And she just walks up on them and just starts telling them how fishing is bad and basically how, how fish lives are just the same as human lives and exaggerating them fishing as mass murdering. She's trying to say that the fish have no voices and she's speaking up on all the fish in the world. There have been studies on whether or not fish feel pain. Like this has just been a thing that's been being recently and currently we don't understand it as human beings what we do know is that fish do have pain receptors or receptors that go off when there is danger and a predator nearby but if they feel pain just like a human do we have no idea and more research needs to be done we don't know if a hook going through the mouth is the same as a human getting shot in the head by a bazooka you know what I mean so comparing the two is just completely absurd anyways let's get in the clip and you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about how about I came to where you, something you were enjoying and I harassed you? If I was acting violently against another This isn't police, violently. It's a me. recreational sport. Are you that dumb with it? All right, guys. So her first point here is that they're being violent and vicious and just acting like they got a AK-47 just shooting down the whole thing, just mass murdering everybody on the dock. Like they ain't just fishing, mind their own business or something. And initially, she's not even yelling at the dude who ends up being the main character defending fishing in this video. She's over by a blue cooler bothering someone somebody else enjoying Father's Day. It's ridiculous. Throughout this video, you're going to see a common theme where she struggles very hardly differentiating fish and human lives and acts like these people are doing more than just simply fishing and enjoying themselves. It's you fucking, no. killing somebody else is not a sport. How do you even know that we're killing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look at this is what i'm talking about she's just insane you killing somebody else is not a sport yeah because you, they're totally just killing shooting people in the water here i didn't know that's what was going on if you guys didn't know yeah aquaman just lives in the water here you know mermaids and stuff that they're fishing up here it's, it's, i think i think she's a little delusional how many people out here catch take a picture and release it you're still okay that's even worse you're putting it's no different than using tinder you catch how, somebody how, and you how, how would you feel about this being I love the little sneak diss he had there with the Tinder thing. You find someone, you use them, and then you release them. She says that it's worse to catch a fish, take a picture, and release it as opposed to killing it was her initial point. So I don't, like I said, I don't even think she realizes what she's actually going on about here. Dragged into the water with a hook through your leg. I dragged them out of the water, not into the water. There There's literal studies that we just read where we don't even understand if fish actually feel the same type of pain that human beings feel. And if they, like if fish feel pain, it's nothing like we experience as people. And she's just comparing the two as if they are the same and as if human lives and fish lives are just this extremely similar thing. Yeah, obviously I don't want overfishing. I want the ecosystem to be all nice. And, and I love like the smart reply of I drag them out of the water, not in the water. You know, just on some petty stuff, but obviously it's deserved. Dude is so fed up. And I mean, you know, anybody can come up to somebody and, you know, try to spit some facts or whatever they're trying to do. But at least like when you're spitting facts, try to have actual information to back up your claims or you're just going to end up looking like a fool as this young Karen is. Not into the water. Their lungs collapse when they- Oh my god did you guys hear that did you guys hear that their lungs collapse when they leave the water not only does she think that killing fish is equal to killing a human but she has such difficulties differentiating the two that she thinks that they are both basically the same thing and both have lungs when fish have gills humans have lungs simple they leave water when you throw them back in they die they don't die they're not flying fish they're not meant to jump out of the water with do you know anything about marine biology do you know? Do you? Yes, I actually I do. I like how when he asks her if she knows anything about marine biology, she hesitates and it's just like, uh, 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 like she doesn't say yes or no. And just by that, you can tell she has no idea what she's talking about. Can't even answer that question. Like, so how did she get the confidence to even go and confront this big old man who's fishing just buying his own business? I, I, it just blows my mind how they think the world revolves around them. Well, oh, so it's good died. and natural for them to be hurt. How many fish die like from that. being released? Whether or not they Tell die me, when they're shut the up. Still. How many? Okay. 
<laughs> Yo, this is my favorite part, bro. Literally, her whole boy posse was, it was like three, four, five of them just gathered around here while she snaps about fishing. The dude that spoke up probably been trying to hit for years, for weeks, for months, whatever, bro. And he was like, "All right, that's it. I see her. She's losing this argument. I gotta speak up right now. Is my chance. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. She's gonna hit me back. This is my night, bro. I'm shooting my shot. This is it. Uh, actually, shut the f up." Bro, shut down so quick. God damn. Also, I hate how she's talking about fish being dragged out of the water. Like, they're just getting beat down. Like, they're people getting tortured. Like, Kaneki getting tortured. Tokyo Ghoul on some snapping fingers counting down. Fish can't even count, bro. So, I, I, I just hate when people exaggerate and just try to make these absurd claims that don't even correlate because they're just losing the argument so bad. They got to divert it just to make you feel dumb. Just try to belittle you through obvious things like no of course i don't want fish to die and i don't want to torture fish you don't have to say that no you see you're already encroaching on everyone having a great night for all right that was part one of the clip we're about to get into the second half and just real quick you can see the part one ends with him talking about it's father's day so like yo everybody's trying to enjoy themselves on father's day and she has the audacity to come up on them with this absurdity you're one of them one of them you're one of them one the of whole them. earth is public domain the earth is not public domain. Okay, you do not need to kill fish to survive. I, I'm sorry, but you don't need You don't need to be here having this conversation with me. Damn right, bro. She don't need to be here at all. I love how he stood his ground because, oh, man, I couldn't say it enough. She, she has no place being there. And, and nobody said you got to kill fish to survive. Nobody said that. It's so obvious. This is what I was talking about before. You say something so obvious to belittle the person you're arguing with because you yourself, you know, being the girl, is in a corner. She don't know how to get out. She's just saying anything she's clawing away she's scratching at any little thing that she can say to get out of here just walk away go down the dock get your boys to carry you out of here why are you still continuing this is not gonna go well for you young karen I, i'm sick obviously karen knows the boys know everybody knows you are fishing for recreational purposes you have fun you have a fishing license that's why people fish he is not using he is not fishing to survive and even if he was fishing to eat the fish he has the right to do that <laughs> Uh, if you're gonna kill somebody else, I do need to. I'm not, I'm killing an animal which I have a license that allows me to go ahead and recreational fish. Oh my god, that's what I'm talking about. If you need have, if you feel like you have to kill somebody else, I need to be here. Who's getting killed? Who's getting killed? I would love to know. Young Karen acting like this is Jack the Ripper over here, like he's just slaughtering up the whole dock. Meanwhile, he's killing fish. He's, fi he's not, we don't even know if he's killing fish. He's, he's fishing with Laura, got the fishing pole. This is not the Jeffrey Dahmer of the damn dock, bro. Come on. I don't, I'm not concerned with what the law says you have the right to do. Well, the I'm law says I have the right, and technically you moral, are harassing me not, and harassing all right. these people around here. Bro, he is within his rights to be on that dock, to be there right there. And yeah, bro, pull the same card, because she, she's har on, on her terms, she is harassing him. You know she would pull that same thing if the roles were reversed, bro. The same thing. You know dang well this Karen be on that same type of harassment, fake harassment, energy, exaggeration. She said, I don't care about the law, bro. Again, we're talking about fish. He is more within his right to catch fish, release them. That's what he said he was doing. He's catching fish, taking a picture of their big fish, releasing them in the water. I promise you, I promise you on no planet, on no, you know, whatever it is, I promise you catching a fish, taking a picture, you know, showing it to the boys, putting up on IG. That that does not make you Freddy Krueger versus Jason Slenderman. It don't make you none of this, Ted Bundy. All right, you're just fishing, bro. This this is young Karen need to relax and get that through her skull. We're speaking up on behalf yeah. of somebody who has no voice, somebody who values their life. This young Karen must have just got done watching Shark Tales or Finding Nemo or something. I Fish do not need to be stood up for or spoken up for. No duh, they don't have a voice. They don't speak. This is not finding Nemo, man. <laughs> she thinks that standing up for the fish here when these dudes are legally fishing and there's not this mass surplus of fish so they can do so and they can fish freely. She thinks that standing up for these fish. She thinks the fish are going to go, hey, thank you so much, Karen. Thanks for standing up for us. Hey, dab me up real quick. Hey, I appreciate you. Yo, you free tomorrow? Yo, we want to take you out. We, the whole clan down here, uh, a fish, a fish friend, we all appreciate you. No. The fish have no idea. The fish don't got a voice because they can't talk. Their brains are the size of my thumb. They are fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm literally like laughing because I, I barely could take it serious at this point. Why don't you take you your argument to something that actually fucking matters? This may not matter to you, but it's not about you. And it's not even about it's us. It's not it's about, about you. You're encroaching on everyone's Father's Day. Just move along.
You're all right, and the second clip ends there, but we get the point, man. She's just harassing all these people and just being extremely absurd on Father's Day, like the dude said. She says it doesn't concern me, or and it doesn't concern you. It concerns the fish. Uh, no, you made it concern him, and you made it concern you and the fish by approaching this man, minding his own business. How many times this video I gotta say it? It's just so crazy. You guys already know what I'm talking about. She went there. She made it about her sticking up for the fish when this man had nothing to do with her. They could have went on their way. They could have went to Winnie Hut Junior's wherever they were walking to man her and her boy possibly need to get up out of there and i hope they learn their lesson because this man stood his ground and uh he shot her down very well but anyways thank you guys for watching i appreciate you have fun fishing love you i'll see you next time peace <laughs>